So you've watched my videos and you're still thinking about moving to North Georgia. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about everything you will need to know about moving to North Georgia. People reach out to me all the time with questions about how to move to North Georgia. And I'm gonna just walk you through the process and help you avoid some of the pitfalls to make sure that the process is super smooth and easy for you to transition to moving to North Georgia. My name is Tim Gibson, and of course, my channel is all about living in North Georgia. As always, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all the new videos coming out. And of course, if you're thinking about moving to the area, reach out to me. My contact info is right on the screen. So step one and the most important step in buying a home in North Georgia or anywhere really is to define your budget. And how are you going to do that? You've got a couple of different ways to do that. The most common way, and I'm sure you already know this, that people buy homes is they apply for a mortgage. They finance the property with a mortgage, they go to a mortgage lender and they finance the property. Why is that important? You may be asking. And most realtors, if not all realtors, would say the same thing. The reason why we want you to get pre-approved is so that we can set your budget and set your expectations up front. So let's say you're looking in North Georgia and you find a house that you really like and it's $500,000. So we go out, we go look at the house. It's amazing. You want us to submit an offer right away, but we haven't gotten your pre-approval letter yet, which is typically the first thing that you need to do. And I'll illustrate why it's so important that you need to get your pre-approval letter first. So now we found the house. You end up talking to a lender. The lender takes your application, they check your credit, they do all that good stuff. And then they give you a pre-approval letter for, uh-oh, it's 400,000 and your budget is not 500 it's way lower than you were expecting for some reason. So now unfortunately, you're not able to afford this house and now your expectations are set on that $500,000 price range, but now we have to go down $100,000 and look at houses that are cheaper. So guess what happens? You're excited about those houses that are so nice, but now everything in that $400,000 price range doesn't look nearly as nice. So as you can see, this is a very important part of the process because once we set those expectations up front, now everything is gonna be so much smoother and we don't have to deal with expectations that were a little bit off the mark. And this is good for you and it's good for me or any other realtor. So as you can see, this is why it's so important for you to get that pre-approval letter done before you even start shopping. Another thing I wanted to mention too is that pre-approval letters don't cost you anything. So the next way to finance a property, of course, would be using cash. And cash gives you a lot of flexibility and it gives you the ability to find a house and close quickly. It gives you the opportunity to waive an appraisal if you wanna do that. A lot of other options for you if you have cash. If you're using cash and be buying a property in cash, you'll need to show proof of funds in the contract for a property in North Georgia or Georgia in general. The best way to show proof of funds if you're buying a property with cash is to have your bank write a letter on bank letterhead that states that you have the ability to purchase the property in cash with the funds that you have in your bank accounts. Those funds don't have to be in checking savings. It can be across multiple accounts, but you need to have the ability to, of course, purchase the property in cash. Okay, so now we got all that stuff out of the way, we get to get into a little bit more fun part. So number two is define the location you wanna live in. Georgia is a large state and North Georgia covers a massive area. As the buyer, I think it'd be really important for you to sit down and say, okay, what are the things that I need within a certain radius of where I live? Do you need to be really close to a hospital? Do you need to be close to certain stores? There are some people who want to move from an area that's a little bit more suburban and they say, okay, I've got to be close to a Whole Foods or I got to be close to Target or I got to be close to this type of store, or this type of shopping. North Georgia is great and there are some locations that have some of these places and the likelihood of finding like a Target or a Whole Foods in some of these small North Georgia towns is almost nil. You're gonna have to stay a little bit closer to the suburbs if you wanna be able to get to some of these places. All right, so number three, define the home you wanna live in, and this is everybody's favorite part about shopping for a new home. Go through a list of the basics, of course. What number of bedrooms do you need? How many bathrooms do you need? What size, how much square footage do you need? Do you need a basement? Do you need a finished basement? Do you wanna be in a subdivision? How much acreage do you want? And what type of acreage do you want? Because having a house on acreage in North Georgia is very common, but the type of acreage would be a very important question to answer. 
because naturally being in the mountains is gonna be pretty hilly and you're gonna have a lot of topography and there's also a lot of trees in North Georgia. So think about that when you're thinking about acreage. Sometimes people think about acreage and they go, oh yeah, I want 20 acres and it's flat pasture. That's not necessarily something that you can find really easy in North Georgia, but it is possible. Back to budget just a little bit, we're gonna to get to number four and that's setting your expectations for the type of property and your budget. Now that we've defined the location you wanna live in and we have defined the type of home you wanna live in, now it's very important to set your expectations realistically. If you want year round views high up on a mountain and you're overlooking a big lake in North Georgia in a big house that's say four, 5,000 square feet, even though Georgia is a relatively cheap place to live compared to other parts of the country, having something that's a massive house on a mountain overlooking water, that's still gonna cost you a lot of money. That could cost you up to a million dollars. Step number five is to get in touch with a realtor. The main reason why you'd want to get in touch with a realtor, of course, is so that you have someone there that's a local expert that knows the area that can help you find what you're looking for. This is especially important if you're coming from a different part of the country. I want to stress this point. I would love to help anyone and everyone that watches these videos, but it does not have to be me. There are lots of great realtors out there and lots of people who can help you find what you're looking for. I say that because it really is in your best interest to have a realtor present you on the buy side. And if you do reach out to me and I ultimately can't help you, maybe it's in a location that's not super close to where I am or for whatever reason, I do have referral partners that I can connect you with if that's something you need. Also, there's just things you may not know about a certain area, especially if you're coming from a different location. If you wanna buy a property that's 10 or more acres, you could file for conservation use. That'll actually help you save on taxes. You can also file for homestead exemption, which allows you to save on taxes if you're gonna live in the property full time. If you're planning on working from home or if you need a really fast internet connection, finding a location with a great internet connection can be a challenge sometimes in North Georgia. And really just what to expect in an area. We've helped lots of people make the move to North Georgia from all over the place. And my job is to literally make the process as smooth as possible for you and make sure you get exactly what you need. If this is something that you feel I'd be able to help you with, then I would be more than happy, of course, to help you out. All you have to do is fill out my moving to North Georgia form and I'll get in touch with you. And this form will help myself and my team learn about your needs, what you're looking for and where you are in the process. I've got a link to the form in the comments. Check that out below. Look forward to talking with you as always. If you're still in brainstorming mode and you want some more information on different locations, check out my other videos. I've got videos on all different locations in North Georgia. And I hope to talk to you soon.